Welcome to West Wing Week. Welcome to the West Wing Week, your guide to everything that's happening at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. This week, the president visited the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, welcomed this year's NBA champs, the Dallas Mavericks, addressed the EPA, announced a new chief of staff, and introduced the White House's insourcing initiative. That's January 6th to January 12th, or insourcing, bringing jobs back to America. To America. You've heard of outsourcing? Well, these companies are insourcing. On Friday, the president dropped by the offices of the Consumer Financial hey. Protection Bureau and their newly appointed director, Richard Cordray. Now, when I meet uh, Americans all across the country or I read letters that I get every night, you know, they really don't ask for much. They just want a fair shake. They just want a fair deal. And we have a chance to give it to them. On Monday, the president welcomed the NBA champion Dallas Mavericks to the White House to honor the team in their 2011 NBA championship and to recognize the team's ongoing support for our men and women who serve in the military. Last season, they called themselves the Bad News Bears uh, because from the very beginning, uh, nobody gave them much of a chance. Uh, people said uh, that Jason Kidd uh, was too old, and I, I will say that uh, this is the first time I've been with some world champions who are my contemporaries. <laughs> Later, the president spoke to the White House press corps and announced that White House Chief of Staff Bill Daley would be succeeded by the current Office of Management and Budget Director, Jack Lew. Uh, Chicago is only a phone call away, and I'm going to be using that phone number quite a bit. Uh, and here in Washington, I have every confidence that Jack will make sure that we don't miss a beat. On Tuesday, the president went to the EPA headquarters to address the men and women of the agency and to thank them for their hard work protecting the air we breathe and the water we drink. I do not buy the notion that we have to make a choice between having clean air and clean water and growing this economy in a robust way. I think that is a false debate. On Wednesday, the President and Vice President hosted an Insourcing American Jobs Forum in the East Room of the White House, focusing on the increasing trend of companies choosing to insource jobs and invest in the United States. They began the forum by holding a roundtable meeting in the Eisenhower Executive Office Building with business leaders to discuss the benefits of investing in the United States and what more can be done to incentivize those companies that are looking to create American jobs. I don't want America to be a nation that's primarily known for financial speculation uh, and racking up debt buying stuff from other nations. I want us to be known for making and selling products all over the world stamped with three proud words, made in America. And we can make that happen. Okay, folks, please stand by for the president. All right, here's Coach. On Thursday, the president called Coach Nick Saban of the University of Alabama football team to congratulate him on his team's championship season. You're a heck of a coach. And, wow. uh, you, you should take great pride in it. Well, I appreciate that. I'm really proud of the players and the way they responded and the togetherness that we had as a team. And it was a special group to be around. And you let them all know that uh, uh, the president watched the whole game and uh, uh, you couldn't have been more impressed with him. And uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing him in the White House. All right. Well, we look forward to coming to see you. Sounds good. Thanks, Thank Coach. You. Bye bye. All right. To find out more information on any of these topics or to see complete videos of these events, go to whitehouse.gov. And thanks again for checking out your West Wing Week. The reason I root for this team is they're almost as old as me. <laughs> you know? Exactly. I mean, well, this is my contemporary. You know?